Hey guys, it's Cynthia, AKA Sinful. And I decided for my first video, I want to do a brief overview of the narcissistic abuse cycle. So to get us started, there are three stages to the narcissistic abuse cycle. Number one, idealize. Number two, devalue. And number three, discard. So I'm gonna briefly go through each one and in future videos, I'll make a video about each one and go into more detail. So number one, idealize. This is commonly known as the love bombing phase. This is when the narcissist puts on their mask and they create this false personality, this fake person, in order to make you fall in love with them. <clears throat> they seem like the perfect person. They are extremely vulnerable with you. They put you on a pedestal. They make you feel very special. You guys start planning the future together. You guys are calling each other soulmates. You're telling each other that you love each other. You might be talking about moving in together, might be talking about marriage, everything extremely quickly in the relationship. They give you very high levels of affection, of validation in ways that you've never felt before. And you know, these days in the dating world, it can be kind of tough to find someone who's emotionally available and who will be vulnerable with you on that level. And so if you're unfamiliar with the fact that narcissists exist, then you think this is the perfect person. You're like, yes, this is what I've always been looking for and it feels great, you're on an emotional high. And at this point, the narcissist has you exactly where they want you. They have you in this vulnerable state where you trust them and you're falling in love with them. And this lets them know that you are easily manipulated because you've fallen in love with a whole person who doesn't even exist. And that's what brings us to stage two of the abuse cycle, which is devalue, okay? There are several ways that the narcissist may begin to devalue you. One of those ways is they will begin to withhold affection. That same affection and that same validation that they were giving you so strong at the beginning of the relationship, they'll start, start to pull back subtly at first. So subtly to where you can't even pinpoint that it's happening. To where if you try to bring it up, then they'll just say you're imagining it. They'll gaslight you. And then the gaslighting becomes stronger in the devaluing stage. They'll start to twist your words. They'll start to twist their words. They'll start to twist entire events and they will completely distort your sense of reality. And then they start to put you down. They start to degrade you. They might start to cheat on you. Narcissists have a high tendency to cheat. And at this point, they're blaming everything that's wrong in the relationship on you. They are constantly gaslighting you into thinking that all of the things that they're doing wrong are somehow your fault. And because you've become so dependent on them because they've isolated you from everyone and everything that you love, you begin to believe it. And because you believe that all of these things are your fault, you begin to try harder than you ever have before and give more than you ever have before to try to fix the relationship and just get that person back from the beginning. But the more you give and the harder you try, the more the narcissist pulls away and the more they shame you. But then here and there, they'll sprinkle in little glimpses of the person from the beginning of the relationship when they were wearing that mask. They'll sprinkle it in just to keep you hopeful that that person is still in there somewhere. And that's how you get caught in this trauma bond, this hot, cold cycle hot, cold, high, hot, cold, devalue, idealize, devalue, idealize, except it's just little breadcrumbs now. It's not full on love bombing. And now all you want is those little moments of breadcrumbs. So you put up with these super low moments just because you just want to get back to the little breadcrumbs. You want them to be nice to you again. And they are manipulating you on a daily basis until you get to a point where you start trying to call out their behavior. You're on to them. And when you start trying to set boundaries and call out their behavior, that's what leads us to stage three of the narcissistic abuse cycle, which is discard. And this is when the narcissist has drained you to your core. They have drained you so much that they can't drain you anymore. And they need fresh meat, they need new supply that doesn't know what they are and who they are. Someone that they can start all over with, with the abuse cycle. So they need to get rid of you. However, 
some people end up discarding the narcissist first. In my situation, I discarded the narcissist. But in many situations, the narcissist will discard you in order to move on to that new supply. And then guess what? With that new supply, they go through the same cycle. Idealize, devalue, discard. So in my next video, I want to go into more detail about each one of these stages of the narcissistic abuse cycle. So my next video will be all about love bombing and what that looks like and what it looked like when I went through that experience. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.